everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Edward, that's an Avia S99 or a C10 and all we know that this aircraft was based on G10 BF109 and now we have a chance to check this limited edition kit in 148 scale as you can see. And first let me remind you that we are given money for the new camera, you can help us too by pressing the donate button on our website and it is easy because it's done via PayPal and of course you decide the amount we will get from you. As for the kit it's already available for purchase and I think it might be interesting for those who would like to depict something different from all those common BF109 uh, models in 148 scale. Just give me a second and uh, now it should be a bit better with sound. Anyway, uh, this kit is already available for purchase as I said before, price is set at 35 euros which is quite reasonable level for 148 scale with all goodies inside and now we have a chance to check it closer. First I have to mention that this is a typical Edward box, here you can see comparison with my hand, we have this nice box art on the front, then on the side we have four marking options shown which are included into this kit and as you can see uh, those are airplanes which were flying for example this one was in Puana Air Base Czeski Budijovice this one is Brno uh, Stalina 1947 this one is Prague Ruzini 1947 and this one is Czeski Budijovice Spring 1947 we will see them later in the assembly manual so no worries we will check them closer here you can see also, let's say, description of the kit. So as you can see, we have here plastic for AVS-99, it's BF-109G10, now WNF or Diana production, four decal options for Czechoslovak Air Force and Police Air Patrol units in 1947 and 1950, and of course PE parts and painting masks from Edward. That's the top opening box, so just give me a second to open it. And here is what we have inside. So as you can see there is plenty of space inside and I think it won't be a problem to get all parts intact. Of course nobody stops you from checking all those parts before purchase. Um, I mean it's not difficult to do especially if your shop lets you to open the box of this kit. So we are going to start with the top plastic bag. Here we have several plastic sprues including the transparent one actually it is good that transparent one is packed into the you know, big plastic bag so that it doesn't fly around the box as you can see it is packed into the separate plastic bag as well in order to avoid possible scratches with which can be achieved with other gray plastic parts now i'm going to remove this plastic sprue and we will check further or closer what is molded here so let's zoom in and here you can see this plastic frame in all its beauty. So here we have several uh, types of the canopy, obviously some of them will stay for your spare parts. Molding quality is really nice and as you remember masks are included into this kit so you won't have to waste your time trying to cut the stickers. Moreover, as you can see we will be able to you know, replicate open canopy on your aircraft so it's also quite a nice feature. And overall I like the molding quality which is already typical for modern Edward kits. Then here we have first grey plastic sprue, I'll zoom out so that you can see it better. So here it is. And here obviously we have wing parts and now we can zoom in back so that you can see uh, detailing of these parts. I'll try to focus the camera on the closest view possible so that you can see what we have here. So here you can see that we have recessed panel lines in riveting. It looks really nice. Also we have separately molded ailerons, flaps and front slats as well as those wheel wells. So all those parts and also air intakes. All those parts will have to be assembled separately and be careful with them because they really tiny some of them so you have to be um, more or less careful with these parts. Here you can see top halves they also feature these um, special elements which were present only on G10 aircraft and note that these parts are molded together with wing ends 
and those wing ends will serve as a guiding elements for um, for the wing lower parts. Also, we have inside these position pins, so no worries about possible alignment problems because everything will be easy with help of those special elements. Now I will refocus the camera, and here you can see again. So next, next we have another plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to fuselage halves, and here you can see that, as you can see, one of the connections broken off, but it's nothing serious because part is still intact and I think it didn't damage any external features. So as I said before, we have here two fuselage halves, also top cooling panel, propeller, and those are new parts which are actually different from what we saw before. So I'm going to zoom in back to those kit parts and we will check them closer. So here you can see them. Really nice detailing, the same as what we saw on the wing parts. But what I would like to show is that inside we have some minor cockpit detailing which will be enhanced with separate parts. And note the special position elements for the cockpit. Also we have position pins inside the fuselage. It should be quite easy to assemble this kit. I assembled G6 as you remember. You can find build review on our um, website and YouTube channel and I have to say that it's really nice and easy kit to assemble and you won't have to modify any of the standard parts in order to get them fit into the place. Now I'm opening the last plastic bag. This one is dedicated to various uh, minor elements. As you can see these are two huge frames. Here is the first one. We have here, um, for example, cockpit four here, also three types of the propellers, which won't be used for this build anyway, so they will stay in your spare parts. Also here we have wheel tires, um, fuel tanks, propeller hub, and also here are some parts for the wheel wells. Overall, molding quality looks fine, and I think you won't have any big problems with these parts. And last gray plastic sprue is dedicated to external elements. So here we have, for example, tail wings, which should be assembled out of two halves. Also here we have exhausts and various wing mechanization parts, which will have to be installed separately, as you remember. Next we have decals and PE parts. Here are they. Let's check first the PE thread, which is color printed. And I will try to get the maximum zoom and now we focus on the P thread. So here it is. As you can see, we have here not only the cockpit elements, but also some external parts. So your model will be quite detailed after you install all those minor elements. Now, this product is quite typical for Edward. So I really don't think that you have any possible problems with those parts. Then here we have masks. Masks are typical. These are pre-cut stickers for canopy. They are quite useful in this hobby, let's say. And now I'm going to open the uh, another plastic bag. This one is dedicated to decal sheet. So here it is. Let's focus on this decal sheet so that you can see all the symbols. Printing quality is really nice. As far as I can see, it is printed in Edward itself. I'll zoom out so that you can see whole decals sheet. And also here we have decals for the cockpit, some stencils. And again, once, once again, I will repeat myself that printing quality looks really good. And I really doubt that you have any possible problems with those oh, nice decals. Then we have assembly manual. This one is printed in typical um, form for Edward. This is a large brochure, as you can see, cover printed. We have here a parts map. Note that many parts won't be used. Assembly process starts with cockpit. Then we continue with fuselage halves. We continue with tail parts. Uh, here we have wing assembly. And then we attach wing to the fuselage together with landing gear. Canopy is here. And then here you can see guide for the masks application. Note that they will be used for wheels as well. 
here we have marking guide for the first marking option that's OKBYH um, which was used for police patrol unit in Czechoslovak Police Air Force in 1947 and 1950. Then here we have um, that's uh, EV-11 which was based in Plana Air Base Česky Budijovice. This one it comes from Prague Cruzin in 1947. And here we have another airplane from Chesky Budyovice in 1947. As you can see, it has this EV-14 designation. Here we have also stenciling guide. And of course, related products for AVS 99C10. As you can see, of course, you will be able to use cockpit and other parts for BF 109G10 because that's basically the same aircraft. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, if you like um, to discuss uh, this kit, write in the comments below. And if you want to help us and you would like to not to miss any new video reviews, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see in the next video review as usual. Bye.